we were just starting here. Boom. Let me do one of these. Bam. Take two. We were just warming up. Boom, boom, boom. We're feeling it now. Uh, we are here. Episode two of the Anytube interview series where I am hitting all of the greatest hits on Anytube. You'll see everyone you've ever heard of eventually, maybe, probably. I don't know. I got my eyes on the prize. I'm going for everybody. Anybody and anybody. I want to see it all. I want to see it all. Uh, my illustrious second guest ever, Manga Crash, uh, probably most infamously known as a historian of Shonen Jump, kind of, um, in a way. I, I feel like I've fallen into that by accident. <laughs> yes, you, you did that. You were like, I'll do this one thing. And then everyone was like, that was cool. You should do some more. And now you're like... Yeah, <laughs> that is 100% what it was. I mean, my my idea was to be like... Overall, a manga historian of some sort. Ah, uh, yeah. But I do a lot of other stuff. I do a lot of... I do more stuff than I thought I was going to do when I first made the channel. But I if, like, yeah, a lot of people go like... When when I ask like people like about my channel what they think unique the, it's unique they a lot of times go back to oh your knowledge of manga and, like the historical elements that you know of and like, most of the times I don't I, I like I Google that shit <laughs> when I'm scripting <laughs> I mean yeah that's all I know <laughs> I'm not I'm not a encyclopedia that some people think that I am <laughs> wait you can't tell me every Shonen Jump magazine right now huh I I just. <laughs> I just ran through uh, all my manga magazines that I've read for the video that I'm making. So right now, I could probably throw you like 50 shonen magazines. Let's go. Honestly, that I don't want to. I don't want to know. No, I don't. No. I don't want to know about that. <laughs> no, let's not go there. <laughs> okay. Uh. And we're just getting into it. Take two. Name, age, location. Run it back. And then we'll get into the rest of the interview. Yep. So my name is Crash. Um, Manga Crash. Well, actually, Crash. I, I generally divide. I'm Crash. Manga Crash is, is the channel. Um, and yeah, I'm 30 years old. Just... Two months ago, reached the 30s, and I'm from Portugal, the ass of Europe, as they sometimes call it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was Spanish people saying. Yeah, no, it's because it's the uh, the furthest country in Europe, or the closest country in Europe to America. Oh, okay. yeah, sure, absolutely, <laughs> perfect. I love. That. <laughs> you got that right. Uh. All right. Um, we mentioned a little bit about your channel. You cover uh, manga, generally, very specifically. Uh, I don't think I've seen any anime-related content on the channel at this uh, point. The oh, the closest to anime-related content that I've done was I made a video on manga versus anime, which technically talks about anime. Okay. All right. <laughs> And I made a video on the yeah, and I made a video like when the Roboco anime rotation came of out. Of course, just, like, you have to, yeah, yeah, yeah you got. Uh, and I guess I did a video on like the fact that Jump is going to publish uh, do a bunch of anime adaptations next year. Sure, I guess. Yeah. So those are kind of related, but yeah, I don't think I've ever done a video where I'm like legitimately just talking about anime. Right. Right, so the real, real deal manga reader in the building, right? Yeah. Read the manga, didn't watch the anime, doesn't care. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. I haven't watched anime regularly since 2013. Wow. Okay. All right. 
I didn't I didn't watch all of Chainsaw Man though. All of the anime of Chainsaw Man. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right, that's that's the audience Chainsaw Man gets, dude. The the weirdo seinen losers like me and Crash. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, one of the things I want to get into too is a broader history of your journey with making content. It doesn't have to be videos. You, now you have this channel, uh, almost 3k subscribers. Let's go 3k. I'm Let's hoping go. I can reach it before my baby is born. <laughs> oh, huge W. Get, that'll get you like 100 euros next time. I mean, yeah. what is in the college fund? Let's go. Uh, but how, broadly speaking, what is your uh, relationship with content production? I mean, I have... I, I, did, I didn't do much before my channel, that I, which I started in late 2020, I guess, due to the pandemic. Mm. Uh, I've done a couple like random videos, um, when, I, when I say random, it's like really random. Uh, I, sure. like in 2019, I did like some uh, like, meme videos, like YouTube poops. Uh, I did a video that actually rewatched or reacted to on my channel, which was like a, a manga top five back when I had Let's read, go. Like, 10 manga. <laughs> oh, well, then, then, it's a, then it's a fight. <laughs> Or, you know what I mean? Every spot is a deadly battle. Yeah. I did AMV once. I tried to do it again, but my AMV really was really, really bad. But somehow, Harder I think than it, it has seems. like 10. Yeah. It, it, my AMV still has like, uh, I think almost 9,000 views, which is. Wow. That's more, more than, than that. <laughs> I think hey, these I have one video insane. on my channel that has more views, all the others have less. I was I was gonna I was gonna say AMV still pop off. Not surprised. Not shocked. Yeah. Yeah. That I guess the, the more serious I was to uh not really a channel but like a, a series was that I did like this like retro gaming uh Let's Plays, essentially, videos sure. that I did sure. like, a couple ones. And it wasn't I, my idea wasn't even for them to be Let's Plays, because I was, like, very inspired by, you know, Angry Video Game Nerds, uh, Peanut Butter Gamer, uh, you know, the, the, those kind of, like, YouTubers. Sure. But I didn't have, like, the resources or the intelligence or <laughs> nothing <laughs> to do a video like Angry Video Game Nerd. So I end up like doing a bunch of uh, of let's plays in Portuguese, sure. and then I just kind of like did nothing, right? Till yeah, till the channel, till 2019. Okay, so like a little dabble, a little uh, kind of interaction yeah. with a uh, platform. Then you buckle down, make manga, and what motivates you to go in the direction of talking about talking about manga? I yeah it was mostly like the community on on analysts because I started using analysts back in like 2019 which was mm. when I went back to manga because like I had stopped like reading manga regularly for a couple of years and then in 2019 I went back and I found analysts and started using it and analysts is like so much cooler for manga reviews or for reviews in general like anime and manga reviews mm. because you can like put images there it has a dedicated page to your, to your review it looks so much beautiful and because it has less people in it there's less competition most of my reviews on mine and list would get like zero interactions um most of them were also very 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 bad but <laughs> like, analysts had less people reviewing and had um all the reviews got into the main page for at least a little while so i i hmm. did I, I was I used to like do some written reviews on 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 my numbers. Occasionally, it wasn't anything serious, but I did a couple ones throughout the years. And then I did one for Saint Seiya on on analyst because someone forced me to read it and I hated it and it's like one of my least favorite. Oh, 
<laughs> so there I did go, dude. Yeah. And it got a couple, like, it got some traction. And then I did a review on Bakuman, and it got some traction as well. Okay, what's so your Bakuman? Like what was your Bakuman take? Let's go. Uh, what, uh, sorry, I didn't get it. Well, what is your Bakuman take? Let's go. You hated Say, I, I, I don't, I hate it. Say, I love Bakuman. You can, okay. can kind of see the box set there. <laughs> oh, that's right, dude. I remember it. Yeah. Comment on your picture. Yeah. I, 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 I love Bakuman. My, my take on Bakuman is that the first volume kind of sucks in some regards. Uh, mostly, I think the way that the women are done and written uh, are not, are not only like badly written, but they kind of there's like some dialogues and some weird stuff that they decide to do that actively like kind of ruins some of the elements there. Yeah. Oh yeah. And once you, <laughs> you get into the manga part of it, it just it's it's amazing. Um, <laughs> Absolutely, you're spot on. Yeah, and so yeah, I did like some of those reviews, and I started like doing reviews more regularly. Started getting better at that at them and i started like getting a, like followers um people like, like legitimately like the the reviews it wasn't like a lot but like, like maybe 20 30 people but like for me that was a lot huh? and then i did like i started like doing because analyst kind of has like a thing that is almost like twitter in a way kind of like a little feed of your profile so huh. i started like posting there like some historical stuff about manga I started posting their like jump covers and covers from other magazines and you know, just a bunch of like random stuff and people like started interacting started enjoying it and then i started like getting like some people like telling me you should you should do a youtube channel um and it, because i've kind of always wanted to do it that's why I, I made all of those videos years back. Right, right, right. Uh, and and even in that space, I like I even tried to do videos like on gaming and on manga, right. but none of them. I like I started them and I didn't, I didn't felt them. So I, I stopped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna buy a microphone, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and and do a proper, for real like, channel on manga. Okay, uh, so you just, you just, just like, go, boom. You just yeah. sat down and you were like, it's time. Yeah. I'm I'll done with this text reviews. Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to get paid. I'm going to pop off on YouTube. <laughs> We're gonna blow I'm going to do up. reviews. Boom. And, and then I didn't. I don't do reviews on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you don't do that many reviews. There are a few. No. Yeah, there is occasion. The reviews that I have on YouTube are are reviews that are written for analysts that I just kind of recorded. Yeah, because I already have a script, so. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but they don't do maybe. that well. They really don't do that well. Yeah. I don't know what it is with YouTube. The they don't. Yeah, strict, straight up reviews of stuff. I don't know. It's kind of mm. yeah. You you, you kind of have to change it. Like I did for my Ibarikun review. I call that like the first trans character of Shonen instead of just calling it Ibarikun review. Right. And that you is like my like, mm. fourth most video, most watched video, and like third most watched video right now. You gotta uh, give him the little hook. You gotta give him the twist. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, because I have an Uzumaki it. review that I just called it My Thoughts on Uzumaki, and it, I think it's like one of my least viewed videos. And it's Uzumaki, I thought like people would care about it. I don't know though, okay, I think, uh, I don't know, I think people, I don't, I don't know how interested people are in like, Uji Ito content, you know what I mean? It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of, Juji Ito is very famous, but do you want to watch stuff about him? I don't know. I haven't seen that many videos about him popping off. That is true. You know I, what I mean? I hadn't thought about it, but yeah, you, you're right. <laughs> like, it's so, the, the stuff itself is so messed up. Oh god. <laughs> 
that aside, uh, so one thing that caught my interest, even early on when you're posting on any list feed, um, you were like posting old stuff about jump, so you have this like engagement with the history of the work. There's a name, there's actually a name for this type of uh, textual analysis that I forget. <laughs> where you focus I don't on, speak like, English. The so historical I... context, that's like an academic term. It's like where you engage with the historical context of like when things were published, what was going on in the industry, what was going on with the author, the author's, you know, journey through their different works. Uh, I forget <laughs> what kind of analysis that is called. What? I, I don't know. Probably speak out say that is what you are doing. That is what you are engaged in. You are... Get down, even in your, like, uh, video about um, the, the destruction. You sort of recontextualize yeah. it in the... Uh, in the whole context of Asnaminio's body of works and history as a, as a manga auteur. So, yeah. what, uh, what grips you about uh, the history? Why are you so interested in that historical context? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. It just, it, it's, I always find it interesting, even like, before manga, I was really into gaming, and mm -hmm. I was super like 14, 15 years old. I was the kind of guy who, who could like name you all of like the the consoles and and the uh, like the old stuff and like some historical like what was the most important game of, like this time, whatever. Uh, and I feel like with, with manga, just kind of like because I end up loving manga probably even more than gaming. I kind of shifted that into manga as well. Right. Or it, it's fun to just kind of like I, I remember when I did the video for for this review of Chojo that I did like two videos, um, like finding out about like Shoujo in the fifties and <laughs> yes, um, in the seventies, like why did the Shoujo mangaka start like writing BL and I don't know, it was just super interesting and I feel like. One of the reasons why I wanted to make this channel is because I don't see a lot of people like doing that. We see, we see four video games. If you want to know more stuff about video games, there's channels where you can go. For anime, not as much, but you can still find it. A lot of, like anime, yeah, channels about old anime and stuff like. That. Sure, yeah, older shows. Yeah, for manga, you don't really, or the ones that you find. You're struggling out here in the manga world, yeah. dude. They, they really are. I was, and if I did, I, I feel like if I only did like circle videos, I would struggle as well. I mean, yeah. I think the fact that I have other videos that can grab people helps a lot. Uh, okay. I, oh, a feeling. I'm talking like if I if I was rich, I have to like um, I have three k less than three k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh. It's all good here. I, you're, this is a, this is a three a subscriber channel. You know what I mean? So we're we're very elite over here. Yeah. We're very that's focused how we start. On, I mean, that's how you start. Start somewhere, baby. Yeah. Do we do? Uh, okay. Um. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask is, uh, what's kind of the general look of your, uh, your workflow when making videos when when you're when you're sitting down what is your yeah what does your process look like at this point i mean normally i have like i have way too many ideas um and generally either write them or keep it in my head and then when i finish a video it's starting of like what is the next video i want to make uh, okay. What is the the one I'm more excited for? <laughs> yeah, we have okay. one of these ideas I want to do next. And and what happens a lot of times that I start I start like one, 
and then I started working on them, but I didn't want to do another one, and then I just kind of like... Ah, you I can't have... someone hold it back, dude. Yeah, I have like three unfinished scripts um, right now. It, it's it's hard. I struggle with, with um, like, starting and finishing a, like any project, like any hobby. I really do. So I'm pretty happy with the fact that I can still publish content on my channel like regularly because yeah. I never thought of that was that would be possible with my head. <laughs> I just I just assumed that I couldn't. I'm, uh, I'm like 90% IFAD. Uh, my uh, therapist still doesn't want to check it out, uh, so I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> I I think I do. Well, um, but I, yeah, it, it, it's it's hard. But normally, what I do is that yeah, it's I don't know the idea that I'm more excited for because that's kind of like the more likely idea that I can start and finish. You pick the one no problems. that will keep you most engaged to the end. I know yeah, what you're talking about. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So I, and then I just write the script. The script is what takes the longest. Normally, a script can take. If I'm, if I have a lot of time, which rarely I do now, I can write the script in like a day. Normally, it takes like four days, five days a week <laughs> to mm. write the script. Uh, and once I finish the script, it it gets kind of easier. I find like an hour where I can read. Because normally my videos like 10, 20 minutes. Uh, are you just. You just cold read that? You just read that in an hour? Like, yeah. boom. Boom. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> okay. All right. I just do that. And then I just like, I jump into editing. Cold and read it. Cut, One hour. I cut the, all this <laughs> that I do and all the odd, uh, outtakes. And yeah, I just. Then I just had like the stuff. And sure. normally with the editing process, because my editing is really, really bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, it is. I, mean, I don't, it think, it's, just, I don't think it's bad. I don't know. It's not like it uh, flashy. It's not yeah, flashy. My editing works. But it, it functions. Is, it gets it gets the point across. Yeah, but it's not like it's not engaging. I think if you're not if you're not there to listen to me talk, um, you're not gonna get engaged uh, with with the visuals because normally it's just like. Either the page scrolling, and then I peer and say like random stuff, and then another page. It, it's, That's it, good enough, dude. It's straight up yeah. like something, dude. <laughs> I was something over and I was like, no, oh, dude, this is. Yeah. It's but, not like, uh, you know, I fi motion graphics or whatever, but it's, yeah. the, it's plenty of VFX. <laughs> good enough for me, although I'm old, so you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not Zoomer Brain. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not a Mr. Beast video. I can't I can't even watch Mr. Beast videos. I, I uh, forgot nothing. Like I, I like him as a person. He looks like a nice dude from interviews and stuff like that. I don't care. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, but I like I if I I watch like content creation uh, videos about a content creation, and a lot hmm. of times they, they like interview Mr. Beast and someone interviewing Mr. Beast and. Someone and just straight up watching Mr. Beast video is completely different because Mr. Beast video is like, yeah, it, they're kind of crazy. You can't. <laughs> I I can't. I can't watch it. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's yeah. It seems weird to me. Regardless, that's why uh, that's why I'm one of your fans. You know what I mean? That's that's how it is. Thank that's you. why we enjoy the content. Those yeah, it's, I, I prefer the more relaxed, slower. Yeah. Oh, you're in. You're on exactly the right channel yeah. right now. Let's go. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a good. Uh, good overview, I think, of the um, the background content uh, info that I want to get. The uh, main point of um, this interview series for me, what I'm trying to get at, is a sense of all. Different people's different aesthetic sensibilities. So let's talk about manga. Let's do the manga part of the manga interview. Yeah. 
How did you get started reading manga? When did this happen? Who hurt you? <laughs> I started. My internet hurt me. Uh, I started watching anime. I'll, I'll explain. I started watching anime school because all of my friends were into Naruto. Okay. And, uh, like it wasn't yep. even all of my friends. Like all of my all of my classmates. Like all the boys, the girls. Everybody. There weren't many girls, but it, like it was mostly the boys. They, they were all into to Naruto. Like even the cool kids, like the bullies and all, they were into Naruto. Ah. So we. We all kind of just watched the, the two things that everyone in my class was into was Naruto and Metallica. <laughs> okay. The two things like everyone okay. watched and listened to. Was, two was great cool. tastes, tastes great yeah. together. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, yeah, I got into Naruto and One Piece and Bleach and Full Metal Alchemist because one of my best friends was really into Full Metal Alchemist. Um, and actually, that who was the one who, who talked to me about manga because first of all, this was before. Brotherwood. Oh yeah, so the OG. Had watched, yeah, the OG. So he had watched like Full Metal, the OG, the 2003 version, and he jumped into the because there was nothing, nothing else. Yep. <laughs> um, and I didn't have like my internet connection was like, like pen, uh, like USB, like one gigabyte limited. Oh yeah. And what 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 year are we talking? About? This is like we're talking middle school to, age. High school, 2008. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. 2007, 2008. I think it was 2008 that I got into anime. Absolutely. Um, and it was like, okay, so you... Because I couldn't really watch a lot of anime uh, in my house because one gigabyte doesn't... Yeah. I mean, I and think it lasted more, more stuff back then than, than now, but yeah. You couldn't watch that. I didn't watch YouTube back then. Um... So it was like, yeah, uh, you know, there's a, this thing called manga, and it's like JPEGs. So you can, you right, can probably right. read that. Absolutely. So you see, so, manga is a more efficient information delivery platform. We're already cooking right here. Boom. Yeah. How about that anime? Get roasted. So I, jumped into, yeah, I jumped into manga, and started like Naruto. And then I started like reading manga of a bunch of. Animes that aired on an anime channel on TV that aired back then. With things were uh, things like Lavina, Tsubasa Chronicles, oh, okay, yep, yep, uh, yep. Detective Conan. Yep. And I just kind of like jumped into that and, and you yeah, just I think read the manga. So you yeah. are OG day one manga reader. You're like. Yeah, almost OG. Um, I I, did, I, I mean, never I watched, watched the anime. anime. I never yeah. watched the anime. <laughs> From day one, I saw the anime. I said no. I'm going. I'm gonna read the manga. All right, fools, goof, goofballs, yeah. and everybody else was getting confused and pissed off by the Full Metal Alchemist anime. You were over here just reading the manga like this is great. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. The story's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> It was from the gym. I love that. Okay, so that's your start. Has it just been like a straight line since then? Like, uh, are there any sort of like um, turning points in your consumption? I know Eminon is one uh, for sure, but uh, even maybe earlier on, is there some sort of like on road from, you know, reading? things you've seen on TV to like boom. How do you yeah. get to this level where you're 30 and making videos about it? You know, how do you, how do you turn that corner? I think like probably one of the main ones early on was was um, Lavina. Uh, like, I really love that manga. Um, and like I was 15, 16 years old. I was really not into like romance stuff uh, up till that point. But that was also the first, like, I read it last of I got, uh, you know, I got my first love and got my first rejection. So it kind of like fit perfectly. Uh, and I really gotten into rom coms, like shonen rom coms and etchy rom coms. 
rom-coms. I consumed a okay. lot of like 2000s and 90s rom-coms. Yeah, it was kind of popping in that yeah. time period. You hit it at yeah. the... Like around the Harvey era, right? Yeah. So yeah, the show and rom-coms were kind of popping. It was, it was good. Were, yeah. I feel like, yeah, they kind of died. Now. They kind of were replaced with Isekai, I feel like. The, the, yeah. What yeah. they brought. The isekai just kind of replaced. I'm not really into Isekai. But Isekai is also more of an anime stuff. I've only read one Isekai. It was really, really. But. Okay, well, <laughs> then you should stop. Then you don't, don't read another, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you read one Isekai and it was really, really good, you just walk away. That's like, no. you walk to the casino, you put the bag down, you walk out with a bigger bag of money, and you never look back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just don't go back. Don't go back here. Please leave it there. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um. Okay. Uh, yes, I agree. A show rock on has fell off. But, so you, yeah. Lavina is like this on-ramp into broader show and rock on. Where does that take you? At some point, you it's just you just pass across Eminon, and then here we are. Or what is it? Yeah, Emma, Eminon was re really a random find because I was like reading a random manga, and then I don't even know the website, but there was like a website that kind of recommend you. I uh, think I, I know which ones you're talking about. <laughs> I, I mean, there were so many though. I'm... It well, it had had like uh, had like. Eminon, it had Ran in the Grey World, it had, uh, you know, the music of, what's her name? Music of Barig? Yeah, 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 it, was, it had all, it all this, yeah, like, deep cut saying and stuff on yeah. there, I know what you're talking about, dude. Yeah, I was like, let me check it out. Uh, and I wasn't expecting to, to like it, again, it was just like, kind of run fine, I looked at the, the, the cover, I was like, I have, like, 15 minutes to read this. Um... And it was really, like, really, really amazing. Um, I don't think, like, it wasn't really... I think by the time I was well, kind of into, into manga, because Eminem was, like, I found it, like, 2012 or something. Yeah. Probably around the time that it got translated. So at that point, I was already... I was deep into manga, and to a degree, I was kind of reaching a point I was getting tired. Uh, of it because I had a pause. I had kind of like this pause of, of manga. So um, what had you what had you read up to that point? Was your diet like up until this? Uh, I, I read. I feel like that was the problem. I read like pretty much everything like that I could come across. Um, <laughs> I just I don't we're, know. I, 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 that was, I was that that kind of like dude that was like to the. The manga websites, the, the, the oh, yeah. I just kind of oh, like, yeah. just clicked on wherever it was on the first page. That was also uh, like, just like the... <laughs> that was also the peak of scanlation, dude. Scanlation was yeah. popping off back then. Just, I just did like random research on the advanced filters and just like clicked on random stuff. Oh stuff. yeah, absolutely. Wherever, just everything. I just I don't care. <laughs> so you um, had you had read a lot when you were at this yeah. point. Yeah. So you were already, you were already like linked in. You were already like, yeah. This is, this is something special. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, like... and you were, you were getting like kind of burned out, but then like Amazon, did it pull you back or were you? Did it no, like... actually, I, no. I, I kind of, I still kept reading manga for two or three more years. But then I just feel like I started reading so much stuff and I wasn't really able to finish it. Mm. Uh, and I was just kind of like, just started like drifting off. I remember I still, like one of the, the two, the, one of the things that I'm kind of sad about, I, I kind of like stopped following Vinland Saga, which at the time was one of my favorite. And I still uh. haven't gotten back to it. Um, especially like now because it has like more 100 chapters than it had back then. Yes, it's um, incredibly that was, long, dude. It was like yeah. it's huge. Yeah. And dense. Yeah, it was like beginning of, of Farmland Saga, I think. That was okay. Yeah. And everyone's like, that was the best arc. And I, I, I bet it is. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I bet, bro. Probably. 
Yeah. But then I was, I, the only things that I continued reading was actually like Shonen Jump stuff that another friend of like another mm. uh, uh, another friend of mine from from the university also read. So that was One Piece, Beelzebub, Assassination Classroom, Nisekoi. Wow. I think Sankareya was also we, that wasn't Jump, but we also read yeah. Sankareya. It's kind of like we just, yeah, we just, yeah, we just go, did that. It was, go, it was a baby. fun one. Uh, it was a really fun one. That era, I remember that era. Damn, Bills yeah. was so good. Bills of Love is amazing. I a legend, love. dude. Yeah. And yeah, just as those mangas started like ending, I kind of like stopped. Like Naruto ended, Bleach ended, One Piece didn't, so I. I yeah, there, there was right? a point where I'm just reading One Piece. It's just there wasn't there was a there was like a cut, a, a wall in the age of uh, of the medium sort of. Yeah. Uh, with there, Naruto and Bleach. Yeah. Going that was like also kind of like the time where Attack on Titan popped off, and we started having like a lot of this brand new. And anime fans and kind of like a, a new era, so to speak. Yes, a new era of legitimacy. Uh, yeah. More licensing started happening, or official licensing, which cut against yeah. the Scanlation website. Uh, it, which meant, I, broadly speaking, I would say the amount of stuff you can get at now is less, but also. The quality of what you do get is more. Yeah. And uh, I mean that is absolutely not the, my reality because because I live in Portugal. <laughs> yeah. I, get... I don't know what the Portuguese <laughs> licensing situation is like. Yeah. No, it, it was so bad. Like the the first legit manga that we had uh, was like that note was in 2012. Okay. That was when we started getting. Like for that's, real money, we had a couple of, like, but yeah. yeah, that is. We had. I I, I saw a guy do, sh- li- like literally, had a pile of manga by his side, and he had. And it was all the manga that was released in Portugal, like till 2014, like from the beginning of time till Ever. 2014. Yeah, all like, the all of that. Was, every Portuguese manga. <laughs> Yeah, wow. it was really bad. That's 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 tough. <laughs> yes, yeah. tough. I don't know what uh, you know Japanese Portuguese industry ties are like. Yeah, we we are public. getting like in the last two three years we're getting a lot. Let's go. Of, like new publishers popping up and publishing. Let's go. Because we only had one. We like mm-hmm. we only had yeah. one publisher. Yeah, which but... was the publisher that published like jump stuff and we we're getting like right. a lot of like smaller stuff going into the more like the indie manga yeah is, sure. it's fun that's and we have cool. Eminon in Portuguese let's <laughs> yeah, go amazing I love it <laughs> that's beautiful okay okay so you are kind of similar to me in regards that you have that kind of one track mind once once you got Taste, it's done. You're, yeah. you're forever. Okay, so then you're a perfect, uh, perfect subject for this question. What do you? Th- what is good to you about comics? Mm. I think what I don't. For me, it's just about comics. More like storytelling in general. The medium in general. All the mediums like movies, comics, books. I always love the amount of stories we can get and the honestly like the passion of creating. As someone who's always liked to create stuff, not just videos. Um, you know, when I was little and till quite recently, I always wanted to be a writer, like an author. Mm-hmm. So like the Seeing the passion of like people put into their stories was was always like fun to me. Um, it always like engaged me. I don't know. I, I 
don't know why out of like all of the mediums manga was the one that really grabbed me because like i said i really love video games i think i'm decently into movies um tv shows take too long and i feel like that's part of why i'm not, not into anime it's like I, I don't have the attention span for tv shows and anime um and i guess comics the the western comics because the, the the french comics and things like that i kind of like it but the western comics i feel like marvel and dc have a lot of being able to get into like jumping into i've tried a lot of times yeah yeah i it's really hard i was really into ultimate spider-man when i was a kid because i got i got like issue number one and number two i just got like oh this this starts from the beginning let's go yeah Yeah. it's good it does have a couple like side stories and things like that where you'd have to get up magazines or issues but in general you could just straight up read and i think i feel like we lose that in in marvel and dc a little bit i, I mean yeah. marvel, i didn't ever i never read the dc comic in my life <laughs> <laughs> okay all right all right uh, okay, so know, okay. Yeah. wait that's uh not true if you've read watchmen i haven't <laughs> okay well AJ, you, should probably, you should read one. It, it's Kickass DC now. Kickass, I think. Even I think even Kickass is Marvel. It don't. It does not seem like the DC to me, but yeah, I don't think it's DC. The Boys, I think, is DC, but I haven't read the. We watched the first season oh. of the show. Wow, then you're a fake moderator, right? Exposed. <laughs> Post live on camera. Done. <laughs> Thumbs up, it's neither of those big asses by Icon Comics. Yeah, and there you go. There you go. Boom. Take that Marvel in DC, huh? This guy never, never read any DC, but he has read Icon Comics. That's one Icon Comics over DC. Yeah. Then. <laughs> I don't I just never into, into DC. Because when I was a kid, I had like a bunch of old comics from my uncle i think i don't know mm-hmm. whose comics belong to they were just there they were like marvel like ah uh, yes so i just gotten into like the superheroes that's why when people were like oh iron man wasn't nobody till the movie what he knew okay what yeah. are you talking about yeah. oh <laughs> yeah no one, no one had <laughs> ever heard of spider-man or yeah. <laughs> we in 2006 or whatever the fucking yeah. movie came out. Yep, no one had ever heard of it. What's well, a Spider-Man, dude? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, but I do kind of still want to dig in a little bit about comics in particular. Do you, like, uh, do you engage with other... I mean, obviously you make videos right you're not writing uh text so you have some engagement with like the the visual form the illustration how much does that matter to you like versus the the story honestly not as much as i think it matters to a lot of people um I think there's really good stories being told with sadly really bad art. <laughs> and like, for example, I think Beelzebub in, in some way. Yeah. In the art regard. But I don't care. I love the story. I love the co- the, the comedy. I love the characters. So I think like the characters is always the most important part to me. But of course, I think there's a, like the art is, is always important. Not just the art cell. So, um like the way that like the the panels are drawn the bubbles are put like the flow of the page there's a lot of stuff going into drawing a a page yeah just a page there's so much and i find i find it like really interesting to to dig into 
and and seeing like <sighs> there, there was like this dude that I met that really put a lot of importance in the flow what he did almost always was grab a page put a line in the beginning of the page and trace where your eyes go and yeah. see if it matches the, the the way that you should read it and while I think he put way too much importance in that because he would like literally call among the trash just because one <laughs> bubble was not <laughs> like oh you should just read like it's like it's not it, it is it can be important but i sort of like f finding some love in 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 paying attention to those details of, of the page layout and i think it's really fun to see even the art styles how unique they are i feel like in manga we get something that the anime doesn't and that is a lot more uniqueness into the art of, of a manga where there is a lot of times where i'm reading a manga, I remember, and reaching like chapter five and seeing like i think it was like the the the, um, the president of the school or whatever and i was like i know i know who drew this like, and then I went back, it's like, oh, look, this is by the same guy who wrote uh, Majin Tante Negami Niro, which is a manga. I was like, okay, <laughs> this is the same dude. And I could tell that from the art alone, even the fact, and it's by the fact right. that it was like, 10 years later, he actually improved his hard sell so much. And when I jumped into his, The Elusive Samurai, I was like, okay, still seeing like a lot of like details, especially same in the stuff. face. Like, it, it's still the same dude. Um, yeah, it does have that. Uh, well, like you said, you uh, you kind of uh, like to engage with the passion of the author. You're interested in like viewing yeah. the energy of the author, so that yeah. uh, the manga does have this like authorial aspect where the the uh, the creator just thinks of the thing. And then they just have to draw it, right? They just have to yes. draw the thing that they thought of. That's all. It's amazing. It's because I've tried to do hard. it, and I can't. Yeah, it's really fucking hard. I yeah. cannot do it either. But it is sort of uh, straight from the dome in that sense. It's not like uh, a whole anime production or a big movie or something where you have to coordinate all these things and a billion things going on. Yeah, but I. One person. I feel like we. Make it happen. Yeah. Do it everything. It, it's really quite cool that manga has that of just having one or two dudes just kind of like write the story from beginning to end. For the most cases, at least. I mean, yeah. I think that's. Really cool. Books have that too, but you know. Yeah, books, books do, but like, there, there's a lot of like stuff that doesn't. Right. Exactly. Like, even like my favorite uh, movie franchise, Alien. Every single movie is done by a different director. <laughs> And it's, got, uh -huh. and it's fun to see like how they all differ from each other especially the first three but um it, it, it's more interesting not really interesting but i feel like it's good to see like a long story like something with 700 chapters be able to be cohesive because it's written by the same dude from beginning to end i mean yeah what there, there's a small handful of those, okay? You're like, uh, you're, let's just say it. What is your, what is your best big, big, big chonker manga? That has to be One Piece. I mean, it's, I, the, it's the number one. It is number the one. peak <laughs> of chonker mangas. Of like big boy manga? Yeah. 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 I think One Piece is. Um,. I don't, there's not many. Um, it's a small. It's a small list. <laughs> yeah. Over seven hundred is crazy. Like, over seven hundred is really. There. There's there not many. many. I like, I'm even sorry. though I haven't caught up. I like Baki a lot. Ah. Uh -huh. Baki is really fun. Baki is one of those where I'm like, this manga is not technically amazing, but it's super fun.
I don't. It just. Uh, it's I, okay, so I see what you mean. Yeah, it's like I don't know. <laughs> I have I have my own uh, takes on on that idea, but I I get where you're coming from. It's not. Uh, it's trying to do something that is not necessarily a serious thing. Put it that way. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, great. All right, I think with that discussion of the, the long manga, that brings us to about an hour here on this interview. So we'll call it there. Thank you very much, uh, Crash, for being on the show. Uh, we'll have a link to channel. I have to put that in the description. Too. We'll have the link to channel up here somewhere. I'll, can, it'll be over on the other side. Yeah, I can link to your channel. Uh, I, hate, I hate doing that. I, I, like pointing to the thing. I was like, uh, no. And, and then I do this like, <laughs> yeah. I failed so hard. Uh, I didn't. I, I think it's completely on the other side. Yeah. Uh, I didn't point it. It'll show up though. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, obviously subscribe, like, subscribe to this channel if you want to yes, see more do. interviews or if you ever want to hang out on the stream that'll be fun uh we will be back for more of these i have uh my short list to start things off and it can only get longer uh yeah. that's it thank you again crash and uh see everybody on the next video yeah, thank you bye